Did you know that around 9% of all people involved in motor vehicle accidents suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD after the accident? Check out this video to learn more. Hi, Barry here with The Lawful Channel. On this channel, you're going to find weekly videos on the legal topics that affect your life. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and check out the show notes for more information below. And if you require any legal information, please feel free to reach out to me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can. According to the American Psychiatric Association, post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is a psychiatric disorder suffered by people who have experienced or witnessed a traumatic event such as a war, violent assault, or a serious car accident, among other things. I have represented several veterans who suffered serious PTSD as a result of being in Iraq or Afghanistan, but what I'm talking about today is a little bit different. Today I'm talking about people who suffer severe anxiety or irritability or other symptoms of PTSD as a result of being in an automobile accident. You can, in fact, recover compensation for emotional distress or PTSD you suffer as a result of a motor vehicle collision. The Veterans Administration conducted an in-depth study on PTSD after motor vehicle accidents. I put a link to the study in the show notes below. The study found that approximately 9% of all motor vehicle accident survivors developed PTSD after the accident. Some of the symptoms of PTSD that I have seen in my clients include severe nightmares, vivid flashbacks to the event, anxiety while driving their vehicle, inability to sleep, hesitance to speak about the accident, and of course there are many more. Of course, every case is different. So just be on the lookout for personality changes that occur after an accident. So what should you do? Well, the first thing you should do is don't delay getting treatment. Any delay in treatment will be capitalized on by the insurance company to diminish your recovery. They call it a gap in treatment and it's something that they use all the time. Also, make sure your symptoms and your diagnosis is documented. See a mental health professional or see your doctor and tell them about what you're going through. I've had countless clients who a year after their accident insisted that they had nightmares and anxiety, but if it's not documented, the insurance company is not going to compensate you for it. If your case goes to litigation or to trial, it's likely that your attorney is going to hire an expert to establish a causation between the accident and your symptoms. Finally, PTSD is not something to be messed with. I always tell my clients, focus on your health, not your case. If you're suffering PTSD or anxiety or irritability caused by the accident 12 months later, all the money in the world is not going to help you. The key is getting you better. The key is getting you back to where you were prior to the accident. Okay, it's time for your take on the law. Were you involved in an accident and suffered PTSD? Did you notice that you were highly irritable or suffered from severe anxiety? Tell us about it in the comments below. Hey, thanks for checking out this video on PTSD. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments on PTSD after an accident, feel free to reach out to me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can.